Hello and welcome to the second semi-final match of the March Madness Tournament Series. Today, Mono White Exalted Aras will be facing Junt Midrange in a best out of five. I will be playing out the Mono White side while Yurtle will be on Junt. Game 1 starts off with a mulligan of a 5 lander and a mulligan of a 1 lander, only to keep a 6 card hand with only 1 land and 1 creature. We top deck a second land right away and play out a trained caracal and pass the turn. Our opponent has a second guild gate and passes, and to play around a shock or a ground assault, we decide to play out the dark seal axe and uh, keep up or god's willing, attacking only for 1. Opponent has a Darksteel Ingot, which could still represent a shock, so we play out the Ordeal on our Caracal. Our opponent does have the shock, and we have the God's Willing in response, giving it protection from red and shipping another trained Caracal to the bottom. Attack for two thanks to the Ordeal, and pass the turn, but our opponent has another cheap removal spell in Ground Assault to take out the trained Caracal, and we will play out our Mentor of the Meek, but our opponent has another shock, which he only has two of, so this is the second one to take out the Mentor, and plays out a Graveborn Muse to start drawing some cards. We play out a Sigil Paladin and a, a Crazen Squire, both exalted creatures. Our opponent draws an extra card with the Muse and attacks, which does look like an Anger of the Gods, but we still can't block, and there it is, the Anger of the Gods taking out all the creatures on the field, we play out our Dark Seal Axe and don't have any creatures left. Our opponent has an Inferno Titan here, which will start closing out the game very quickly as we draw another land. So we pause the turn. Our opponent can attack with the Inferno Titan, dealing massive amounts of damage. And our opponent does not have a follow up, but we can only enchant our opponent's Inferno Titan as we draw a God's Willing here. So the Inferno Titan will take us out in style. Junt Midrange is up one game to zero over Mono White Exalted Auras. In game two we keep a decent opening hand, which will feature a turn one Acrazen Squire on the play, as her opponent had to mulligan down to six cards. Opponent leads with Golgari Guildgate, so the coast is clear to enchant our creature with a Nimbus Wings, giving it flying and plus one plus two, Attacking thanks to Exalted for 3 damage, putting the opponent down to 17. He plays an Elvish Visionary to draw a card and passes. So we can go ahead and put an Ordeal of Heliot on our Crazen Squire, which is starting to become a Baneslayer Angel. Attacking for 4, putting the opponent down to 13 and keeping up God's Willing for protection. Our opponent passes after playing his third land. So we can attack with our Crazen Squire for 4 this time. 5 thanks to the Ordeal of Heliod, putting the opponent down to 8. And the opponent's gonna attack with the Elvish Visionary, which is not gonna block anyways. Our opponent passes, we have a Darksteel Axe, which we can equip onto our Crazen Squire, which will now attack for 8 thanks to the Ordeal and the Exalted. So our opponent will be dead on the attack. So Mono White Exalted Aras takes a quick game 2 over John Midrange. So it's now one apiece, and we will move on to game three. In game three, we mulligan our opening hand and keep our second hand, which features a turn one trained caracal on the play with Nimbus Wings on turn two. Our opponent leads with a tri land and passes. And here we drew a Hero of Iroas, which does change our plan because now we can maybe enchant the hero instead of the trained caracal to start dealing a lot more damage thanks to the heroic ability, but we don't want to play out the Hero of Iroas because our opponent could then remove it, so we just attack for one here, putting the opponent down to 19. He plays another tri -land. We attack for one once again, putting the opponent down to 18 and us up to 22. Play the Hero of Iroas with God's Willing Protection and pause a turn. Our opponent plays a Swamp, does not have an Anger, and we go ahead and play our fourth land and chant the Hero of Iroas. Opponent has a resounding thunder in response, but we can use God's Willing to give protection from red, keep a Brimas on top with the Scry ability, and now we have a 5-6 flyer, which we can attack with together with the trained Caracal, putting the opponent down to 12. Opponent plays a Darkseal Ingot and passes a turn, 
And here we can play out the Brimas, but first we'll attack for 6, putting the opponent on 6, play out the Brimas and pass a turn, still with 2 Angels in hand. Our opponent will go ahead and play an Inferno Titan, which will only take out the trained Caracal and deal 2 to us. So on our turn we can simply attack with everyone and thanks to the Vigilant token we get from Brimas, we will be able to swarm the opponent and deal lethal. So Mono White Exalted Aras is up 2 games to 1 over Junt Midrange. In game 4 we keep our opening hand which will most likely feature a turn 1 trained Caracal into most likely turn 2 Sigil Paladin. Our opponent has a second land into an Elvish Visionary to draw a card. And here we can play out the Sigil Paladin and thanks to Exalted we can attack with our trained Caracal. Our opponent does not block and goes down to 18, but a shock will take out the Sigil Paladin right away. On our turn we enchant the trained Caracal with a Nimbus Wings and attack for 2 in the air. Opponent goes down to 16 and this is a Cultivate so our opponent can ramp up his mana base and passes a turn after attacking for 1 since the Visionary is not blocking anyways. Here we draw a Hero of Aroas and we decide to attack, put the opponent down to 14 and pass the turn without playing the Hero to play around Anger of the Gods. Our opponent attacks for 1, puts us down to 24 and will play out a Darkseal Ingot followed by Anger of the Gods which we do let happen since we want to keep the Gods Willing in hand for later. We play out the Sigil Paladin and the Hero of Aroas and pass a turn but your opponent has an Inferno Titan which will take out the Hero of Aroas, which we do let happen yet again because we want to keep the Gods Willing for Baneslayer Angel, but we don't draw a 6th land so we can't play the Angel and Gods Willing in the same turn and in order to raise the Inferno Titan we have to play out the Baneslayer Angel here, but your opponent does have the removal spell to take out the Baneslayer Angel and their opponent attacks with the Inferno Titan, it takes out the Sigil Paladin, which will put us all the way down to 14 life, as we draw a 6th land, which we don't need at this point, and play out the Mentor of the Meek with God's Willing as protection. Inferno Titan attacks, targets the Mentor of the Meek, we give it protection from red in response, put a Ordeal of Heliod on the bottom, block with the Mentor of the Meek but our opponent has a Shield Red which will force us to sacrifice the Mentor on our upkeep and we draw another Ordeal of Heliod which at this point we can only put on the opponent's creatures which will take us out here. So now it's all squared up again and everything will be decided in the fifth and final game. The winner will advance to the finals to face Izzet Burn while the loser will be eliminated from the tournament. In game 5 we keep our opening hand which features a yet again a turn 1 trained Caracal and we pass a turn, our opponent plays a swamp and passes so he could have a shock available but we decide to take our chances and play out an ordeal of Heliod on our trained Caracal and attack for 2 putting the opponent down to 18 so he clearly does not have a shock here but he does have a banefire for 2 which will take out the trained Caracal. And on our turn we decide to play out the Banisher Priest just as a 2-2 creature because we need something we can enchant. Opponent plays a Darkseal Ingot and passes. On our turn we decide to go all in on this Banisher Priest, putting an Ordeal of Heliod and a Nimbus Wings on it and attack for 4 in the air thanks to the plus 1 plus 1 counter, putting the opponent down to 14 but our opponent has the big trump card in a matchup which is Stormbreath Dragon having protection from white. We can however still attack to get a plus one plus one counter on the Banisher Priest but we don't deal any damage and play out the Mentor. We attack with the Priest once again so we can sacrifice the ordeal to gain 10 life without realizing our opponent could monstrous the dragon and kill the Banisher Priest. So now our opponent has a 7-7 monstrous Stormbreath Dragon, plays Cultivate into Pack Leader so he can start drawing more cards and passes. We can draw some cards ourselves with Mentor of the Meek, but we don't draw anything relevant, so we don't have a lot of stuff going for us, except for top decking a bunch of Armored Ascensions. Our opponent attacks for 4, and our opponent respecting Armored Ascension does not attack with the Dragon, 
and plays another pack leader and draws a card. We try to play out the Caracal to draw a card, but our opponent takes out the Mentor in response. And we do have Baneslayer Angel, which is the only creature in our deck that can attack into the Stormbreath Dragon. And we decide to play it out, even though we don't have a God's Willing to protect it. Opponent has a Ground Assault to take out the Angel, which now shatters all our hopes of victory. Opponent plays a Molt Shamblers and draws two cards of the pack leaders, attacks with them, and we decide to block one of them with a trained Caracal. And we top deck a Brimas, which is good, but still not good enough in this board state. So we have to pause the turn. Opponent has a Palaka Worm, draws two cards of the pack leaders, and will attack with the two pack leaders. We can trade with one of them by blocking with the Brimas and the token we get from the Brimas. So we decide to take out one of the pack leaders, still take four down to 19, and our opponent passes. We draw an ordeal of Heliod, which is not very good in this board state, so we have to pause the turn. Our opponent will attack with everyone except for the Stormbreath Dragon still staying on defense. We can block one of the opponent's creatures and drop down to 9 life. Opponent passes, we still don't draw the armor Ascension we so badly need. And our opponent has an Arbor Colossus and will attack with everyone this time. And that will be more than enough to take us out. So Junt midrange takes the game and the match over Mono White Exalted Auras and will advance to the finals where it will be facing Is It Burn. I wanna thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day!